I'm going to compare the difference between these three popular radios uh, and check how well they pick up by airband. I'm going to be using them at a local nearby station to test it. There, it's about five and a half miles away. Um, the one on the left is the uh, TID Radio TD-H3. The one in the middle is the Baofeng 5RM. And the one on the right is the Quanchang K6, also called K5 sometimes. Um, with these, they come with the stock radio. This is exactly how you would get them out of the box, the radio antenna that it would be equipped with. So um, if you buy it from, say, Amazon, AliExpress, that sort of thing, this should be the antenna that comes with each one of the radios. So I just wanted to let you hear the difference in what the reception is between them. So I'm just going to turn each up. Like I said, I'm right on the fringe of how well they pick up, so about five and a half miles away from a, a airport, and this is their broadcast tower that gives uh, local information for it and the weather, that sort of thing. So when I hold it, it gets a little bit better with the tip radio, but not much. Sometimes it makes a world of difference when you hold the radio, how well it does. Check the Quan Chang. Sky condition scattered 1,500. Temperature 1 and 3 Celsius. Dew point 1 and 1 Celsius. Altimeter 3030. Remarks. Density altitude. With the Quan Chang, it makes a bit of a difference when you're holding it. And that's usually what they're sort of optimized for is how well it does when it's in your hand. So just leaving it on the counter. When I hold it, it improves quite a bit. Try the bow thing. So I'm not even getting anything with it. Move the other radios away from it. So if I hold the antenna, I can pick it up, but just with the stock antenna, it won't pick up anything. Like I said, about five and a half miles away. If I hold the body of it, doesn't it improve it? So it takes me holding the uh, antenna and not just the body, but the body and the antenna just to be able to get reception with the bow fang from here. Um, so these antennas may be a little better than another one, so it doesn't really tell you the difference in how well the radio is doing completely. It'll give you a good idea of how well it's picking up, but some radio antennas may do better than others. So I'm going to put um, this antenna on um, each one of them and try it and see if you see much of a difference. Uh, this Nagoya, I can get it to focus on here on it. The uh, NA320A is probably the best antenna that I've found at this you know, medium length that works well for AM reception on them. It's, I've tested it with quite a few other antennas I have and better than some of the other Nagoyas. This tri-band antenna is designed more to work a little better with AM so we'll see if it does any better between the three. The Quan Chang, maybe to me, seemed to pick up the best on it, so it shouldn't have any issues with going to this better antenna. It's almost better not having it in my hand listening to it. Try it on the TID radio.
So it's noticeable, noticeably better with the TID radio using this antenna. Holding it, holding it gets even better. So putting the Nagoya antenna on it made a pretty big difference with the TID radio, more than it did with the Quan Chang to me. Okay, I'm gonna try the bow thing now. So the biggest difference is with the bow thing. Um, stock antenna wouldn't even pick up at all unless I held the antenna and the radio in my hand. And yeah, this Nagoya antenna makes a world of difference with the bow thing. Holding it seems to give it a little more static. Also holding the antenna a little more static with the bow thing. So yeah, the bow thing changing the antenna is the big difference on it. It's more of a noticeable difference with the bow thing than the other two. Uh, the TID radio seemed to pick up the best to me of any of them. It had the best reception no matter which antenna it used. Um, Baofeng was probably last and the Quan Chang somewhere in the middle. So that give you sort of an idea if you're on the outskirts, the range as far as you can get out from a AM reception. Like I said, this was a, a local um, airport station that runs constantly given the weather, that sort of thing. So uh, it may differ depending on where you're at, the terrain, but I'm almost line of sight uh, with that airport. So I really don't have anything but a few trees and that sort of thing in between me. Um, if you're going over mountains, that sort of thing with any of these radios, it's gonna be way less. So that gives you any sort of idea of uh, which radio to go with, especially if you're looking for AM reception, uh, you might wanna consider the TID radio for that. Uh, all three radios have their own pluses and minuses, but uh, as far as air reception, I really feel like the TID radio does the best of any of them. The Quan Chang sank it and the Baofeng last. But as far as just feel in hand and functions and button size, that sort of thing, um, I'm a little more comfortable with the Baofeng just because of the size of the buttons. Some of these smaller buttons tend to, to be a little harder to push, especially if you'd have big hands, you may run into more trouble. So this video helped you out at all, please uh, like and subscribe and I'll have more videos soon. Thanks for watching.